job. It was like, you know, they, I lost my job. I'm like, all right, cool. So a month later, like the bills, it was time for the bills or whatever, you know, and I'm like, you know, the bills do base or whatever. And he was like, okay, you know, I'm not working. And, and I'm just in a month, like it's all kind of hustles. You could have been doing something or whatever. So I told him, I said, look, if I pay these bills, are you going to pay me the money back? This man had the nerve to tell me, why should I pay my wife back for, for paying our bills? I told this man from day one, my money is my money and his money is our money. Why should I spend my money paying the bills? Like, no, he should have paid me back. So that's when I decided, like, I can't be with this man no more. So I had sex with his homeboy. Like, we all cool. I texted his homeboy or whatever. You know, we went together. We, we got it. We left. We, I met up with him. And we was, you know, we was chill, we was chilling, we was drinking or whatever. And I started venting. I started venting, you know, like I started getting emotional. One thing led to the next. I did not purposely mean to do what I did with this. But things happen. Things happen. Like, y'all understand what I'm going through. So. <clears throat> Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim. Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waha, Waka, Kwadash. Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Bahashim means coming in the name, Ba means coming in, Ha means the, Sham means name, Waka means holy, Kwadash means spirit. Double honors to the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who will well and teach well because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect and shalom to you sincere brothers that are scattered abroad pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity and shalom to you sincere sisters that's listening in silence as the scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the Servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much in this video that I showed you with that westernized woman, uh, Elder um, Malcolma of Chicago shared that with me. So shout outs to uh, Elder Malcolma, the water for that video. It put the spirit on me to do a lesson on this. And you could clearly see that these women, these so-called black women today, all right, which these women that's of the tribe of Judah, who are the so-called black women, they don't have order. They don't they don't obey their husband. They don't serve their husband as the scriptures commands them to do so. They don't follow procedures. You know, these women are Westernized. Majority of these black women, so-called Negro women, are Westernized. They sold us out. The so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indian women have sold us out to gain the benefit of the oppressor. They don't have no morals. They don't have no standards. They don't have no respect. You see in the video, she divorced her husband because he got fired. He was no longer able to work. And she took it upon herself to go and sleep with his friend. You're going to go and sleep with his friend. And then on top of it, she said in a video that she shouldn't have to use her money to pay for the bills when he should use his money, which is their money. So wait a minute. You saying that your money that you got, he that you not supposed to pay for the bills with your money, but his money is considered your money? That don't make no fucking sense there. There's a fucking problem there. There's a problem there with that. There's a problem there with that. And like I said, any brother out there, this is why the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone tell us it is best to be single. Now, if you, you got some brothers that are in a situation, they're in a relationship, and they're living with their wives. They, you know, they're in a, in a, in a struggling situation where they're living with their wife. And, you know, they, hey, you got to, like the elders and big brothers say, you know, I'm not ex experienced with that as far as living with somebody because I, I have everything on my own. I have my own place. I have my own car. I have everything on my own. I don't depend on no motherfucking woman for shit. I got everything on my own. My own car. Everything, my insurance in my name, everything, me, 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 me. I don't have no fucking woman owning shit of me of mine. So I'm not experienced or been in that situation. I thank Yahweh Mashai for not putting that putting me in that situation. But for you brothers, like the elders say, you gotta do what you gotta do. But it's best to have your own shit. It's best to have your own things. 
don't live with a woman. Don't live in the same household as a woman. Now, don't get me wrong. Not all these women are like this. You know, you got brothers that's married now. They're probably in the same household with their wives. Not my business. But the thing is, these women today in society, they don't have no morals. They don't have no standards. You know, all things are all wickedness, but little to the wickedness of a woman. Okay. And, you know, getting back to the point, you heard the woman in the video. She left her man. She divorced him. She slept with his best friend, right? Talking about she didn't mean for it to happen. All because she did all of that shit. All because she didn't want to pay the... She didn't want to be the one stuck paying the bills. You couldn't even be patient for your husband to get another job. Like, that don't make no sense. You could have been patient with him, be there for him. Because that's your job as an as a Israelite woman is to, is to serve your husband. That's what marriage is for. You're supposed to be there to comfort your husband. Like the scriptures say, it says uh, Adam left. Let me let me get that precept, man. All right, I don't want to butcher the scripture, right? Let me see if I can get that Genesis out. Here it is right here. You see that? This is the order that's set up in the scriptures, man. But you got women that don't apply to this here. They don't follow. They don't know and understand the procedures of being a wife, being a, a woman of a, of, of, of a man of the Lord, of a man in general. A woman, they don't they don't understand the protocols because their parents didn't, their mother didn't raise them right. Their mothers taught them to be harlots. Their mothers taught them to be whores. This is Genesis 20. This is Genesis chapter 2, verse 22. It says, so listen to this. We're going to see if Adam was created for Eve or Eve created for Adam. Genesis 2 and 22. It says, and the rib which the Lord power had taken from man made he a woman and brought her onto the man. So the woman was cre always created for the man. Not the man created for the woman. The woman created for the man. So you're supposed to serve your man. You have a husband. You have a man. You have to serve your man. You have to be obedient to your man. You have to be submissive to, to, to that man. That's your whole goal as being a woman. But see, these women out here, they don't want to do that. They want to do what they want to do. They want to say what they want to say. They want to act how they want to act. They want to do what they want to do. And that's not how it works. Then when you get 30, 40, 50, 60 years old, now you're sitting in a bed wanting a man and wanting to be with a man. But you just see what that woman is. You just divorce your man. And you you divorce your man and you being with his best friend. Now, his best friend might not even want you. He probably just wanted to do a little quick one-night stand with you. He probably might even want you. He probably got another woman he's dealing with and going to kick your ass to the curb. Then what you going to do? You think you're going to be able to call that man back and hit, hit, hit him up? Now, you got some men that are simps that will take that woman back. But majority of these black so-called Negro men ain't fucking doing that. We're not doing that. I'm not a so-called black man. right? I'm, I'm a so-called Native American, but I'm not fucking doing that. I'm not dealing with that shit. Ain't no simps over here. Ain't none of that shit going down. You do some dumb ass shit like that, kiss your ass goodbye. Right? It says, may he a woman and brought her onto the man. So that's what the woman is created for. The woman is created for the man. Not the man for the woman. Verse 23. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. Right? It says, because she was taken out of man. You see that? Verse 24. Therefore shall a man leave his mother and father. You see that? So that's what it is. At a time, you're, you're raised by your mother and father. But then when you become an adult and you, you the Lord blesses you with a woman and gives you a woman... You, you separate from your mother and father. You leave the house of your mother and father, right? It says it shall cleave to his wife because now you and your wife are together. You guys are, 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 are one. You guys are, are one, right? It says, and they shall be one flesh. You are one now. So now, you, you, now you're in a relationship. Now you're building your own empire, right? You have your own domain. Then you have kids and then you're a parent. And now you're raising kids. Right. That's how it's supposed to be. But in this society, these women, they don't do that, bro. They don't do that. This is first Timothy two and 13. It says for Adam was first formed, then Eve, not Eve first formed, then Adam. It says for Adam was first formed, then Eve. So the, 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 the man is over the woman. The woman is to serve the man. You see that? So you supposed to serve your man. You can't leave your man. Whatever man you get, you're stuck with that man until he's deceased. When he's deceased, now you can get a new man. But see that the order here in society is all fucked up and backwards. A woman can leave a man 
and that, and hey, it is what it is. A woman can divorce a man, and hey, that she divorced him. That's it. You see, but according to the Bible, you're not supposed to do that. You can't divorce the man. You can't divorce the man. Now the man can divorce you. He can give you a bill of divorcement, as the scriptures say. But you can't divorce a, a man. You you're not supposed to do that. But see, this society it gives women liberations to do what they want to do. And this is why, again, this place has to be destroyed. 1 Timothy 2 and 14, and Adam was not deceived. You see that? Adam wasn't deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. And the woman is always in transgression. The woman is always the sinner. The scriptures say the woman was the beginning of sin. as That is in Sirach 25, and I believe it's verse, I do believe it's verse 30 something, somewhere in the 30s. But it says Sirach, the twenty fourth chapter, the twenty fifth chapter. Sirach, Sirach, the twenty fifth chapter. It says Sirach, the twenty fifth chapter. Man, the woman was the beginning of sin. That's why the that's why the scriptures say, um, uh, the woman was the beginning of sin, right? And through all through her, we all die. Because this even says uh, it says all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of woman. You know, the woman is the weaker vessel. She's like a child in a way. That's why she needs a man. But you see, she divorced her man just out of wickedness and despite because he didn't have no money. This is why this, this shit is vexing, man. First Peter 3 and 6, it says, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham. It didn't say Sarah disobeyed Abraham. It said, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham. She followed procedures of Abraham. She didn't rebel against him. She didn't divorce him. Well, I'm leaving you. I'm going to Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm, the, I'm leaving you. You know, we out here in the wilderness. I'm leaving you. I'm going to Sodom and Gomorrah with Lot. I'm divorcing you, and I'm going to Sodom and Gomorrah with Lot and his wife. She didn't do that shit. She stayed there with Father Abraham. She stayed there serving her husband as the scriptures instructs us to do. Instruct you women to do. And it gave you total instruction. It says, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, she didn't rebel against Abraham. There's no scripture in the Bible that says she rebelled against Father Abraham. She followed instructions to Father Abraham, calling him Lord. She was so humble and submissive, she even called him Lord. Now, when we read that scripture there, women probably like sucking their teeth and moving their head left and right like a goddamn bobblehead. I ain't being submissive to no man. I ain't calling him no Lord. See, you don't have no morals. You don't have no standards. And you wasn't raised right. Your mama didn't fucking raise you right. Excuse my French. You wasn't raised right, man. That's why you women are so out of order now. You, you're fucking harlots because your fucking mama was a goddamn harlot. She was a damn whore and she didn't. She, she's the same way. And now she brought you up and raised you up to be the same goddamn way. This is why it's good to have a father in the home because a father in the home can really put his daughter in order. And that's how things work. When the father's in the home, it's total instructions, bro. It says, calling him Lord, whose daughter ye are, as long as ye do well and are not afraid with any amazement. So Sarah was submissive to Father Abraham. She didn't buck up against Father Abraham. She didn't tell him, I'm going to do what I want to do. She didn't say, I ain't going to do this. I ain't going to do that. And I ain't going to pay no bills. And I'm going to go and sleep with another man that's in the congregation. I'm just going to sleep with Father Abraham. I, 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 I got so vexed and I just slept with this person. She didn't do any of that. She was submissive to Father Abraham. She was obedient to Father Abraham. She obeyed Father Abraham. You women, don't do that. You don't have no fucking class. You don't have no morals. And the Lord is going to deal with you. Everything that you do in this lifetime, in this mortal flesh, you women got to understand that. Everything you do in this lifetime of your flesh that you have done, if you don't repent for it, you're going to be destroyed by the Lord. The Lord is going to destroy your ass. Because you women, time and time again, can do whatever you want in this society. You can say whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. And it's just women liberations. But all that women liberation shit is going to drop down fast like a high fast speed in the elevator. That shit is going to crash down. Ain't going to be no more women liberations and all that shit. That shit going to be thrown out of the window. When this motherfucking place falls apart, which is Babylon the Great, this motherfucking global economic collapse happens and crime increases, women's liberation is going to go out of the windows and you're going to be trying to find a man and they not going to fucking deal with you because you divorced them. You did that shit like you did in that fucking video. You divorced him. You was a goddamn harlot. You're going to try to go back to seek that man. And he ain't going to deal with your ass, man. I just feel so fucking vexed, man. Just thinking about seeing that shit, man. Proverbs 3 and 31. It says, uh, actually, I meant to get Proverbs 31 and 3. Salakia. Salakia about that. Proverbs 31 and 3. It says, give not thy strength unto women. And that's the thing, brothers. That's the thing. Brothers have done this. I have done this. 
<coughs> this is before I came into the truth. I used to have that same fucking spirit where you want to do everything you can for this woman. But this woman don't give a fuck about you. You got to come out of that, brothers. The scriptures tells us what? Give not thy strength unto women. Don't give a woman your fucking strength. Don't give a woman all your fucking money. Don't let her know how much money she got in your, how much money you got in, don't let no fucking woman know how much money you got in your account. That's not her goddamn business. That is not her goddamn business, bro. And that's where he probably fucked up at, because he, he told, he told her he lost his job, <clears throat> but the first thing you can tell, she probably asked him, well, what do you got in your account? Do you got anything in your account? And he probably told her, no, nah, I don't have really nothing lit left. Don't tell, that's where your problems come because you're telling the, you're telling your woman how much money you got. It's not her motherfucking business, bro. It's not her business. Our elders tell us that all the time. It is not your fucking woman's business to know how much money you got. It's not her business. I don't give a fuck if you married, Esau married. It is not her fucking business. It's not her damn business. It's not your goddamn business. You see how that woman's talking? This is my money. Why I got to use my money? She clearly letting you know. She don't want you knowing how much money. She ain't telling you how much money she got in her motherfucking account. She's not trying to use her money. She don't want to use her money. She want to spend all your money and keep all her money. And this is why, again, these women, these so-called nigger women are not loyal. They fucking demons. And the Lord going to kill their ass. The Lord going to kill these women, man. The child support. This is all the shit that they do. Live richly. This is like I said. This goes to that Revelation 18. Or I think it's Revelation 17. They live deliciously in their delicacies. Yes, it's, that's talking about the heathen nations. But these these Israelite women, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native American, Indian women, they also live deliciously in, in the delicacies of Esau's kingdom. They live deliciously in, they, in these fucking delicacies, man. They live deliciously here. And the Lord is going to deal with you. The Lord is going to deal with you, man. The Lord is going to deal with your ass. That's why the scriptures say you live at ease, right? But your vantage shall come. There's going to be a vantage that's coming your way. Proverbs 3 and 31, give not thy strength unto women. See, it says give not. It doesn't say give thy strength unto women. It says give not thy strength unto women, right? It says nor thy ways to that which disworth kings. Because if you give your strength unto a woman, she'll take advantage of that shit. You will fucking bug out. You will wind up taking your fucking life. You can lose your fucking wits over a woman. You don't want to do that. Let's read that. Let's read that. Let's get that out. You can literally lose your fucking wits over a woman. You don't want to have that type of spirit, right? Let me see that. There's a precept that talks about that. Right? Let me see. I don't think... Yeah, here's it. I think this is it. First Edris 4 and, uh, 4 and 26. It says, Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women. You can lose your fucking mind behind a woman. <clears throat> Here's a story that my mother told me a long time ago. I had to be about age of probably 15, 16. She was saying there was this guy and this woman left him, right? His woman left him, didn't want to be with him anymore. He found, he found out that she was, you know, sleeping with somebody else and being with somebody else. This dude took Drano, the shit that you pour down the drain to clean all the bacteria and shit out of the drain. He took Drano and drunk that shit. And it ate all his, his whole esophagus out. He committed suicide. You don't want that type of spirit. That's a scary spirit to have. You don't want that spirit, man. This is why, again, it is best to be single. It is best to be single, man. It's best to be single. I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. First Edris 4 and 26. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. See that? So they lost, he lost their wits. You got individuals that lose their wits over their women. Now, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> if you, you're a brother in the truth that got a wife, you got a woman, she's good to you. She's loyal to you. She's doing everything you tell her to do. She's being very submissive. Hey, cherish that woman. Don't leave that woman. Cherish that woman. But if you are Jake in the truth that's trying to search for a woman and trying to be with a woman, don't do that. Stay single. Let the Lord do it. The Lord is going to have his time where he's going to give you a woman. Don't go and try to find and search and look for a woman because it's going to it's going to be a bad fucking situation for you. It's going to be a bad situation for you. Let the Lord do that. Let the Lord do that, man. You know? You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with, you know, talking to women, this, this, and that. Hey, you, the Lord send a woman your way. You talk to her. You meet her. Hey, you guys get together. It is what it is. But don't try to search and find and look for a woman and go to dating sites and try and do all that other shit. You know what I mean? Don't let it. Don't let that be your main focus or any of that, man. 
you know, nothing wrong with, you know, talking to women, you know, maybe you guys hook up, whatever that is, nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying in general, don't try to force it, man, don't try to force that shit, right, Proverbs 31 and 3, it says, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroy kings, because you can destroy yourself, giving your strength unto a woman, you can literally destroy yourself, man, you can destroy yourself, let's get out that, um, Let's get out that side, Rock. This is Sir Rock 25. And I want to get to the main point because I don't want to read this whole entire thing. But I might read some and then skip some to just, you know, don't want to have a long lesson. This is Sir Rock 25, 13. It says, give me any plague. You see that? It says, give me any plague. So give me any plague. But the plague of the heart, right? But the plague of the mind. You don't want that. To have a plague mind. Losing your wits. You know, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, losing your goddamn mind. That's that's scary, man. You know, you don't want to have the plague of the mind. That's a that's a bad situation to be in, man. It says, in any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman. You see that? Verse 14, in any affliction, but the affliction from them that hate me. And any, re any revenge, I think it says, revenge, right? But the revenge of enemies. Verse 15, there is no head above the head of the serpent. And there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. Verse 16, I rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. You see that? So you, you, this is your description say, I rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. Because it's a problem. It's a problem there. It's always a huge fucking problem there. It's a problem. Like I said, you know, I remember I ran into this Issachar Jake way back in, I think it was 2021. And um, I used to work, uh, I used to be a, a security guard at the pool out here in Vegas over there at the Grandview. It's a hotel. And I used to be a security guard during the summer over there. And I ran into this staff worker. He was a, a pool cleaner guy. You know, this is a quick testimony. He was telling me how he was with this woman. And every day they were arguing. Every day, every day, every day, every day. Issachar was like, I'm so tired of arguing with this woman. He's, he's told me privately, he's like, yeah. Because we just started talking about women and stuff like that. <clears throat> he was telling me how he had to fucking, it, the arguing got so bad with the woman he was with, he wasn't even going home anymore. He was he was taking showers at work, washing his clothes at work because they had a washer and dryer there. You know, so he would he, he would take showers at work and he, uh, he, would, uh, he would wash and dry his clothes there at work. He would sleep in his car outside of his job at work and go back to work. He wouldn't even go home no more. It got it got that bad, it got that bad, and one day, <clears throat> while she left, she went out of town, I believe, or something like that. He said he said he went home, got all of his shit, moved all his shit out, went to management, said that he's moving out. He moved out, gave them gave them because they had two separate keys. She had her own key, and he had his own key. He took all his shit out. He went to management, told him that he moved. He gave them the key and said that she's staying there, but he's gone. And when she came back, all her stuff was gone. That's how bad it is to deal with a wicked woman. That's how bad the situation can get. That's how bad the situation can get, man. I just had to share that testimony because I remember years ago that, that that Jake told me that, man. I was just like, wow. It got so bad for him, he couldn't even go home anymore. That's how bad it can get, man. That's how bad it can get dealing with these westernized wicked women. Verse 17, the wickedness of a woman changeth her face and darketh her countenance like south cause. These women don't have no morals, no standards. As you can see, she slept with his best friend. Talking about, why would you go to his best friend and talk about all your problems and whelp and say you feel, that's their favorite word. I was just feeling vulnerable in the moment. I didn't mean for that to happen. You damn sure did mean for that to happen. Because you don't go to the dude's best friend. You don't do that shit, man. You don't fucking do that shit, man. And this is why you brothers too, stop introducing your best friends to your fucking woman. Your woman don't need to meet him. She don't need to say nothing to that dude. You don't need to have no dude. Don't have no fucking dude. No fucking dude. No best friend. No cousin. Don't have nobody around your woman. Because that situation can fucking happen to you. It can happen to you. When you get to bring your best friend around your household and he's seeing your woman all the time and shit like that, that's how adultery happens. Don't let no dude around your fucking woman. Don't let no dude around now. You got brothers that's coming to the house. Okay, coming to the house, whatever that is. 
Tell your woman to stay in the fucking room. Grab all the stuff that she needs to grab and she goes straight in the fucking room. Tell her do not come out to the living room at all until all the brothers is gone. Don't have your fucking woman around any dude. I'm not saying brothers and the truth is like that, but it, 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 it keeps shit from happening. I'm just saying for experience. Don't let no individual around your fucking woman. Because adultery can fucking happen. It can happen. It can fucking happen. I don't give a fuck how close you are with an individual. Don't let that individual around your woman. Bad shit happens. Adultery slips up. So Rock 25, 18. It says, Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. Right? So for example, it's like an individual going to a bar, or whatever that is. He with his buddies going to a bar, and then... One of his other friends, you know, has a video of his woman getting a train ran on her. And it's all on uh, 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 World Star and all that. And he's just like, fuck, this is the type of woman I'm dealing with. You don't want to be in that type of situation either, man. Every time bad shit happens, bad things happen, man. Bad things happen. So Rock 25, 19, it says, all wickedness is but little to the wicked. And the they don't have no morals. Divorcing a man and leaving him because he ain't got no job and then going see, seeing his best friend talking to her weapon and then having sex with his best friend, they don't have no morals. That's little to them. That's little to them. They can say, oh, I didn't mean for that to happen. You are a fucking liar. You wanted that shit to happen. You went to his best friend. You don't fucking go to his best friend, bro. You don't do that shit, bro. You don't do that shit. That's why the scriptures say, it says, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of women. What they do, they think that it's not wrong doing it. They think it's not wrong doing it, but the Lord's going to deal with you. It says, let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Verse 20, it says, as the climbing up and sandy way is the feet of the age, it says, so is a wife full of words to a quiet man, right? Because they flap their fucking gums. Women flap their fucking gums very much. They flap it, flap, 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 flap. And you don't learn by flapping your fucking gums. You learn by listening. You don't learn by speaking. You learn by listening, man. And you, you a black woman, you can never get them to fucking listen. A so-called Negro woman, those are the ones you cannot get to listen. They always got to flap their mouth. They always got to have the last word. You're not winning that shit. That's why a lot of us, like Elder Yashawamba say, it's best to walk away. Don't even put yourself in an argument with any woman. Walk away. If they don't, Try to get in your way and all that. You tell them, look, move out of the way. I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to go. No, you stay here. You need to talk. We need to talk. I'll talk to you when you're cooled down. I'm cooled down. I'm not cooled down. The situation is getting worse. I am leaving. I am leaving, dude. Let them say whatever they want. Well, if you leave, I don't want to be with you anymore. That's fine. I am leaving. Because women, they'll try to do the manipulation jitsu on you. They'll try to do a manipulation jitsu, a substitution jitsu on you. The manipulation jitsu. They'll say words to get you to stay. You can't fall for that shit. I'm experiencing that because I've been through that. Don't fall for that shit. They will try to get you into that substitution jitsu, that manipulation jitsu, and you're going to be fucked up listening to that shit. So walk away regardless of what she say. Act like you don't fucking hear that shit and walk away. I'm telling you for experience. Don't listen. You're going to wish you fucking did, bro. You're going to wish you did. It says, it says so is a wife full of words to, to a quiet man because they flap their gums. You can't, you can't get a, a, a woman to listen. You can't get them to listen. The scriptures say they are loud and stubborn. A foolish woman is clamorous and simple and knoweth nothing. And that word clamorous goes into loud, noisy. You can't get no, you can't get nowhere with a woman. You be going back and forth all goddamn day. Your fucking blood pressure will be going up. Your fucking cholesterol will be fucking going up. You'll be going back and forth with that woman so fucking much, you'll start getting migraines and clustered headaches. You ain't fit to be dealing with that, bro. We're in our thirties and forties and fifties, sixties years old, arguing back and forth. You'll fuck around and have a goddamn heart attack, bro. We don't have time for that shit. We don't have time for that shit as men. We don't have time for that. Arguing back and forth all goddamn day, raising up my goddamn cholesterol. I'm not dealing with that high blood pressure, grabbing on my goddamn chest per second. I don't have time for that shit, bro. I don't. I'm just saying in general. I'm just thinking about this as next. I don't have time for that arguing shit. I shut that shit down quick. I am not arguing with you. If you, if, if you can't handle that, take that up with the Lord. I am leaving. Point blank period. I don't. I'm not arguing. We shutting that down. I'm not going back and forth with you, bro. Not doing that. Not doing that. Verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Verse 20. As the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the edge so is a wife full of words to a quiet man verse 21 stumble not at the beauty of a woman and that's the thing with a lot of jakes they stumble at the beauty of a woman right and desire her not for pleasure so don't just see a woman damn she's pretty as fuck i just want to smash da, 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 da. 
You know what I mean? Like, you can't just lust over a woman because of her beauty, bro. You can be sleeping with her and she can be a fucking full-fledged demon, bro. You just got to be circumspectly, you know? You just, oh, she, she's pretty as fuck. I'm, I'm going to smash. You're going to smash. She can be a full-fledged demon, man. Pretty on the outside, but a demon in the inside, right? Verse 22, it says, a woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger, imprudence, and much reproach. You see that? Verse 23, it says, a wicked woman abideth the courage in making a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. Because that's what these women, wicked women do. You see in the video, she admitted, and this is the thing. Why do you women go on social media and tell your whole fucking business and tell everybody what you did? I divorced my man because he got he got fired from his job. He lost his job or whatever it is. He got fired. Or he lost his job. I don't want to be with him. I'm not being with him anymore. I divorced him and I slept with his best friend and I was vulnerable. You don't tell that shit to the public. That's between you and your husband, you and your man that you was with. That is nobody's business. You women love to go on social media and tell everybody your business. You confessing that shit to the world. That's wicked, man. That is wicked. Now you being looked at as a fucking wicked woman. That's what you looked at. That woman is wicked. She's unrighteous. She is not a wife material. And the majority of these women is not wife material because they don't know how to serve a man. They don't know how to be obedient to a, to a man and serve him with loyalty. There's no fucking loyalty here. These women that's in their 20s, they especially in, especially in their 20s, man. Their 20s and their 30s and their 40s, probably I say in their mid-40s is when they start to try to do that. They, they now want to find a husband. They wait till they're 45 years old. All, now that they all used up, now they want to find a man. Now they trying to deal with a man. Now they want to be a wife. But guess what? No man ain't dealing with you. You see, the, the girl, the girl, the, the girl see all her friends married and happily ever after, and you're sitting there, damn, what the fuck I did for these past 20 years, 25 years? It's best to get, if you are a woman and you're young, it's best to get with a man while you're young. Yes, 23, 24, 25, 26, you're supposed to already have a man already. Already having a man is good to do it early. You fucking wait till you're in your 40s, and that's the end of the road, because ain't no man gonna deal with no old ass woman. You're fucking old, you're used up, ain't no man gonna deal with you. Ain't no, I'm being honest. I'm a fucking dude. I'm not dealing with no 40-year-old woman. I'm not dealing with that. You got you got all these goddamn kids. You're fucking used up. You're stressed the fuck out. I'm not dealing with you. You are a fucking problem, too. You're a problem. You're a problem. I'm not dealing with no woman, no fucking 40 years old. Bug the fuck out. I ain't got time for that. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for no old-ass fucking woman. I don't have to. You're old. I don't have a problem. I don't deal with that. Verse 23, it says, A wicked woman abideth the courage and make it heavy countenance and a wounded heart. It says, A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress maketh weak hands and feeble knees. You are a problem. You are a fucking problem. That lady in that video is a damn problem. And everything she did to that man, this is the thing that you women don't understand out there. What you do to that man is going to come back on you double. So you did that to your man. The next dude you get with that think he's something, he's going to do you like that. He's going to divorce you. You're going to lose your money. He's going to leave you. He's going to be with somebody else. He gonna The same way you do somebody, it, it, it don't have to be within this, this time right now. It don't have to be next week. It don't have to be two weeks from now. It don't have to be three months from now. It don't have to be four months from now, a year from now. It can be five years from now. It can be six years from now. It can be a week, two, three weeks from now. Karma, not karma, so like it, but uh, 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 the Lord is going to chastise you. Vengeance is going to come upon you. What you do, what you sow is what you're going to reap. That's what I'm saying. So like it. What you sow, is go what you sow, you're going to fucking reap it. You're going to reap that shit. It's going to come back right on you. It's not karma, but it, what you sow is what you reap. You sow wickedness, you're going to fucking reap wickedness. That's in the scriptures. Let me get that out. That is in the goddamn scriptures, man. That is in the scriptures. That is in the scriptures. And so like you, I'm just, I'm just vexed just thinking about that shit because I've been through that situation. It is fucking vexing, man. That shit pisses people off. It's vexing. It is vexing, right? Reap what you sow. It's in the scriptures. It is in the scriptures. Galatians 6 and 7. It says, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked, right? For whatsoever a man soweth. Yes, say man there, but it's also referring to you wicked ass women. It says, it says, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You're going to fucking reap that shit. Verse 8. For he that soweth to his flesh, it says, shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth the spirit, shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. 
Verse 9, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So the main point of this thing, what you sow, you're going to reap that. You reap wickedness, you 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 sow wickedness, like it, you're going to reap that shit, man. You're going to reap wickedness. What you do is going to come back on you and it's going to jack you up. It's going to jack you up, man. Verse 24, of the woman came the beginning of sin. It's verse 24. I said this earlier in the video. Which, you see that? It says, of the woman came the beginning of sin. The woman was the beginning of sin. So how the fuck can she be God when she was the beginning of sin? The woman was the beginning of sin. These women are wicked. They're the weaker vessel as the scriptures say. They're the weaker vessel. The woman is a weaker vessel. It says, and through her, we all die. It doesn't say through him. It says through her, through her, through her wicked ass, right? Through her, right? We all die. So the wickedness is but little to the wickedness of woman. And the woman is the beginning of sin. The woman is the beginning of sin. Eve sin. She was the beginning of sin. Eve sin. Verse 25. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. Verse 26. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh. Cut her ass off. If she's not being loyal, she's not being submissive, she's a goddamn demon, all she do is cause problems all goddamn day for you, the best thing to do, I can't tell brothers what to do, you, that's your woman, you deal with her the way you deal with her, but it's best to fucking let her go if she's not being loyal, she's not serving you as a, as a, as a wife, she's, she's not wife material, she don't have no morals, she can't respect you as an Israelite man, as her husband, she's not loyal, she's a problem, cut her ass off, man, because it's going to mess you up. It can have you fall out of the truth. It can have you fall out of the truth if you don't if you don't have the proper guidance through your spirit. If you're not able to handle your woman leaving you. If you don't handle that shit, it can have you fall out of the truth, man. It can have you fall out of the truth. It says, verse 26, it says, Go not as thou wouldest have her. Cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorcement and let her go. She cheat on you, you fucking cut her ass off. You Tell her ass, you have a nice ass time. So they they gonna say, oh, I, I want to work it out with you. I'm not working shit out with you. You fucking demon. You're a 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 demon. Cut her off. I cannot be with you. You are a wicked person. You can't get your life straight. You have no morals. Don't take her ass back. She leave you, let her go. The elder said, a woman leave you, let her ass go. The, the Lord is having, having her fall away from you for a reason. She is not beneficial to you she is a problem she is not beneficial to you brothers she is not beneficial to you brothers so like i said at the end of the day these women got a hard they're gonna have a hard crashing time coming for them and let me get out this precept and then we play that video again and wrap this whole thing up these women have a hard time coming for them they have a recompense coming for their ass too these wicked women you guys got your time coming it's just a matter of time right this is isaiah uh i think it's uh 32 and verse 9 rise up ye women that are at ease these women right now are at ease they're getting all these government benefits they get all of this child support they get all of these things they get section 8 they get all of these things they get all these benefits all these government benefits they're at ease right now they're living richly in the de delicacies yes that's referring to the heathen nations but that's also referring to these so-called israelite so-called black hispanic native american indian women it's also referring to them because they live richly in these delicacies too but as soon as this motherfucker falls apart that's when they vantage shall fail right rise up ye women that are at ease hear my voice ye careless daughters these women are careless they don't have no fucking morals they don't have no morals whatsoever. They'll go outside showing their cleavage to the public. They go out to the public twerking their butts like it's nothing. They get all these BBLs, fake eyelashes, fake eye eyelashes, fake hair extensions, everything fake. Lips fake, chest fake, everything on their body fake. Everything on their body fake. These women have no morals whatsoever. This is not a woman bashing video, but it's the truth. It is the truth, man. It is the truth. It is the freaking truth, man. Right? It says, hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. These women are careless. They don't care. They don't care about what happened to the Israelite man. They don't give a fuck what happened to that man. Now, when the man is deceased and he dies, then they want to go up there. Then they want to say he was a sweet man. But you fucking left the dude. You left the dude because he didn't have no money. That is wicked. That is wicked. And the Lord is going to deal with you women. He's going to deal with you, man. He gonna, he gonna, I'm going in on y'all. He's going to deal with you. 
Verse 10, many days and years shall you be troubled. And this is what is coming for you. Right now, you live deliciously in the delicacies of this place called America, which is Babylon the Great, modern day Rome, modern day Egypt. You live deliciously in those delicacies. But as soon as this motherfucker fall apart, which is going to happen very soon, you women are going to be in trouble. You're going to, you got, you're going to, you're going to take down all your goddamn fans accounts and all these damn shits that you got on social media that's making you money. These child support, you guys are going to, you guys are going to humble, the Lord is going to humble you women down. Right now, you have a heavy pride wicked demon on you where you feel that you're above a man and that you're just number one because you got this you got that you got this you got all these goddamn achievements in this society but it's not going to mean nothing when this whole place collapsed that global economic collapse happened the lord is going to humble you women down but guess what we are not dealing with you we're not dealing with you. we tried to deal with you and you didn't want to deal with us when the time comes your vantage falling we are not dealing with you you're going to be out there by yourself nobody fucking dealing we're not dealing with you i'm not dealing with you you're going to figure that shit out for yourself you left me you're figuring that shit out by yourself simple as that you're gonna figure that shit out you knew what the fuck you was doing when you left when you left when you left the men of the lord you knew what the hell you was doing so when the time of your vengeance is failing you're gonna know what to do you should know what the fuck you do you, you should know what to do verse 10 many days and years shall you be troubled you careless women because a lot of you women are careless you don't have no emotions you don't care about what the israelite man is going through you don't give a fuck about his feelings or what what that man is going through man going through turmoil and you just putting him more through turmoil by leaving him you're supposed to be there to support him and uplift him and help him get through his situations because if it was your motherfucking ass that jake is going to be there to support you he going to be there for you he going he going to be there for you he going to give you money he going to support you but when the israelite man is down don't no woman want to be loyal to us whatsoever and their time is fucking coming your time is coming man your time is coming your time is coming all the wickedness that you're doing is coming for you it's coming for you we're not dealing with you though we're not fucking dealing with you it says ye careless women for the vantage shall fail the gathering shall it says the gathering shall not come Verse 11, tremble ye women that are at ease. You women are at ease right now. You're getting all of these things, but the Lord is going to take everything from you. He's going to take everything that you worked for, everything that you had. You're going to lose all of that. The Lord is going to humble you women down. The Lord is going to take that off of you. You guys are going to be humble. But guess what? The men ain't going to deal with you. We're not dealing with you. We're not dealing with you. When your trouble comes, we're not dealing with you. Don't you come around us. We are not fucking dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. Verse 11. Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled you careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. Lord going to take everything from you. Because you're on a high horse right now. You're on a goddamn high horse. You're on a high horse. And the Lord's going to strip you. He's going to make you bare. He's going to take everything from you. Make you bare and girt sackcloths upon your lines. So this is what is coming. This is a judgment that's coming. While you doing all this publicly flapping your fucking gums on a video, letting everybody know your business, telling everybody what you did and hey, this and that and hey, you didn't mean for that to happen. Yes, you did. You went to, that's where problems start. You going to go to another, fuck, this is, I don't understand that. The scriptures say, learn from your husbands at home. These women don't do that. They go to the next fucking man to do that shit. That is dumb as fuck. You're the, you guys, I don't understand that, man. So he came home and he was like, you know, babe, I lost my job. I'm like, all right, cool. So a month later, like the bills, it was time for the bills or whatever, you know. And I'm like, you know, the bills do, babe, or whatever. And he was like, okay, you know, I'm not working. And and I'm just in a month, like it's all kind of hustles. You could have been doing something or whatever. So I told him, how you know that he wasn't doing hustles? He could have. He he probably was trying to do that shit. You know, he probably was trying to do that shit. You know, he was probably was trying to do that. You don't know that. You just up and just assuming that he ain't doing nothing and then leaving him. See, you, you're making rational decisions that you don't know what the hell you're doing. You don't know what the hell you are doing. Doing. You don't know what the hell you're doing, man. You just up and just assuming. You you didn't sit there and ask the guy. You just sit there and just so, oh, he ain't doing nothing. How you know he ain't trying to do that? He probably was trying to look for jobs. You know, when you when you do leave a job, let's say let's say if you get relieved, when you get uh, relieved off of a job and you try to find another job, that should take time. That shit, that shit take time, man. I've been through that situation of, 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 I, because I do security. I remember one time I did security, just a quick testimony. I did security, and we wound up losing the site. That's the, 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 the contract wound up failing. We wound up losing the goddamn contract. So I had to go and, and get another job for another, another security. That shit took a whole fucking month to get another, to get another job. That shit ain't easy like that. That shit took a, a whole lot of fucking time. That shit takes a long fucking time to do. You got to wait and see if you get a message to your email or Indeed to see if you got approved. They call you in for an interview. You go in for the interview and you got to see if you get the job. That shit take a long time for Israelite man. That's That shit ain't easy. You women can go into a fucking business and get fucking hired. Us, they put us way through a longer process than you guys. That's facts. They put you through a longer process than us. 
So for us, it takes time to get a job. We ain't going to be able to fucking get no goddamn job just quickly like that in two weeks. That shit take time. I don't know for other brothers. Maybe other brothers got hired quickly. But for us, other brothers like myself, that shit take time to get another fucking job. You can't just up and just get a fucking job that quick like that. That shit take time, bro. That shit literally take time. That shit take a month, a month and a half, sometimes two months. It just depends on what the fuck is going on with that individual. See, but you women, you guys are not most merciful. You're not, you're not loyal. None of that stuff, man. So, hey, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to play this video and wrap this up. But this is why we can't, this is why, again, brothers, we can't be with a relationship with these, with these women, man. These westernized women, they're getting worse and worse and worse, man. Worse and worse and worse. The bills do, babe, or whatever. And he was like, okay, you know I'm not working. And, and I'm just, in a month, like, it's all kind of hustles. You could have been doing something or whatever. So I told him, I said, look, if I pay these bills, are you going to pay me the money back? This man had the nerve to tell me, why should I pay my wife back for, for paying our bills? I told this man from day one. It's facts. Why should he do that, though? Because if it was the other way around and you didn't have the fucking money, I'm sure that dude would still pay for it, right? You're his husband. You're, you're his wife. Right? That's your husband. He's your you're his wife. So you supposed to that's what a wife is for. You're supposed to support your husband when he's down. That's the whole point of being a wife. You don't understand the protocols of being a wife. You're just being a damn selfish demon. And the Lord is gonna deal with you. The Lord is gonna deal with you, man. The Lord is gonna deal with you women. You have no support whatsoever. You're not supportive. And that's why a majority of these black couples, a lot of you women are are single and the so-called Negro man, Hispanic man, Native American, Indian man, we're dealing with foreigner women. We're going across countries and we're getting those women. You guys see us on, see these pictures of us, you want to get upset because you are not a woman. You don't know how to be a wife. That you lack that. That's what y'all lack, man. It was something or whatever. So I told him, I said, look, if I pay these bills, are you going to pay me the money back? This man had the nerve to tell me, why should I pay my wife back for, for paying our bills? I told this man from day one, my money is my money. And his money is our money. Why should I spend my money paying the bills? Like, no, he should have paid me back. So that's when I decided, like, I can't be with this man no more. So I had texted his homeboy. Like, we all cool. I texted his homeboy or whatever. You know, we went together. We, we got it. We left. We, I met up with him. And we was, you know, we was chill, we was chilling, we were drinking or whatever. And I started venting. I started venting, you know, like I started getting emotional. One thing led to the next. I did not purposely mean to do what I did with this. But things happen. Things happen. Like, y'all understand what I'm going through. So, hey, man. This is, this is, this is the society we live in. This is the society we live in. I'm in it there with that. Lord Wilner's lesson was edifying. On to the next one. Shalom.